everyone, hello, hello. Today's video is sponsored by Scentbird. Scentbird, Scentbird. Scentbird is a fragrance subscription service, just as Netflix allows you to watch hundreds of different titles. Scentbird gives you the opportunity to receive scents from over 600 brands in just a few clicks. It is a flexible subscription, so you can skip any month without penalties. You can choose a new fragrance that works for men and women to try every month for just $16. Scentbird carries top designer brands like Prada, Gucci, and Versace, as well as indie labels like Vince Camuto, The Harmonist, and Confessions of a Rebel. With such a massive choice of scents, you can let your joyous self free and discover a new way of expressing your individuality. Scentbird is your personal portal to the world of scents. Not sure which ones you want? Based on your preferences, previous purchases, and a simple quiz on the website, Scentbird will help you find the fragrance you'll love. All fragrances that Scentbird offers are 100% authentic. They work directly with the brands. If you're tired of numerous half-empty perfume bottles lying around your room, let Scentbird help you be a smart and conscious consumer. Never be bored with your scent, and save hundreds of dollars on unfinished bottles. With each fragrance, you'll get a 30-day supply, so you can try out fragrances before committing to a full bottle. You can upgrade to receive two or three products a month. Bottles of perfume can cost anywhere from $150 to $500, and even more. Yet, with Scentbird, you can get a luxury fragrance for just $7 by using my code. Besides, all the scents come with stylish and colorful cases. You'll look good, feel good, and smell amazing. This month, I received three scents. Let's take a look. The first scent I received is Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue, and the notes are A lot of perfumes smell pretty similar to me, but this one really stands out. The lemon and the cedar, it's like it's like I'm holding a lemon. I I love this one. Next is a scent by Pamela Rowland. And the notes are sparkling bergamot, pink peppercorn, roses, amber woods, and tonka bean. This scent just brings me memories of driving in my car on a sunny day with the windows down. I love it. Lastly, we have Transcendent by Kathleen Melandrino. These scents are water creams, dewy fruit, pink rose, cashmere musk, and sandalwood. This is such a complex scent. I smell the cashmere, I smell the sweetness of the fruity, I smell the watery greens, whatever that is, but I would absolutely wear this on a beach trip. Like, this is 100% a beach trip perfume. Scentbird is available in both the US and Canada. So if you'd like to smell fun and fresh this spring, use code AmyK55 to get 55% off your first order at Scentbird. That's only $7. Thank you so much to Scentbird for sponsoring this video, and let's get on. Do it, do it, do it. Hi, Josh. Yeah, so um, we had Ashley here for a little bit. Um, she came in with a bit of a headache. Um, we had her eat um, a little snack and then lie down. And she's feeling better, so um, we thought we'd send her back to class. And so she's on her way. She should be there soon. Okay. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm. Bye. <clears throat> oh, sweetie, what's wrong, honey? Oh no, you fell down? What hurts? Oh, your elbow, can I see it? Can I see? Oh no, yeah. Oh, the other one too? 
Can you hold them up for me, honey? Wow, that's a big boo-boo. What happened? Yeah, you were playing tag. Then you fell down. Oh, well, I'm sorry, honey. It's okay. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Let me take a look, okay? I'll give you my expert opinion. All right. Nurse K thinks that you're going to be okay. Right? Nurse K thinks you're going to be okay. I see a little bit of blood. It's okay. Just a little. We're going to clean this up and then you'll be all better. How about it? All right? I'll get those cleaned up for you. Now don't don't move, okay? <clears throat> First thing I want to do is um, get those cleaned up, all right? Okay. Were you winning in tag? Yeah? You like tag? It's fun? Mm-hmm. You're going really hard at it, huh? Good for you. Good for you. Okay. Okay. Now I'm gonna use this to wipe up your boo-boo, okay? It's gonna get this a little wet. Hold them up for me. All right, so I'm just going to. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's gonna hurt a little bit. Yeah, it's kind of like a rug burn, huh? But from the grass. <laughs> Isn't that funny? You have some of the green from the grass. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's get this other. And be very gentle, okay? I don't want I don't want to hurt you. Hurt you. Can you hold up your elbow a little bit more? I see that we have some on the bottom here. Okay, so it looks like that was just a little bit of blood. It wasn't actually. It doesn't look like your wound comes down here. And double check this one. Hold your elbow up on this side here. Okay, yeah, that was just some dirt. Look at the sides here. And on your other arm, let's get the sides here. Okay. Now that wasn't so bad, huh? This next part might sting a little bit, but I just need to make sure that we get all the germs out of there, okay? Because we don't want any infections. Those germs are bad. Okay. Okay. Alright. Okay, three, two, one. I know, I'm sorry, sweetie. You're doing such a good job. Yeah, I know, I'm sorry. But it's burning away all those bad germs. Okay, other arm, okay? Three, two, one. See, you're doing so good. That one was easier though, huh? Yeah. There we go. Very good. Set that over there. Now, it looks like 
on this side, we're only going to need a little band-aid. This one might need two band-aids. But if you want, I could really wrap it up for you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So let's get the band-aid on this side here. I'm sorry, I don't have any fun. Actually, you know what? I might have some fun band-aids. Would you like a fun band-aid? Yeah? this elbow here. I'm going to stick it on for you. There you go. Alright. You can pat it down. Good. Do you love your new band-aid? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. So we're going to put one on this side. But we're going to put a bigger one on there. The taco might be a little too small. Okay. All right. I'm just going to put one of these guys on there. it'll bleed out. I don't think it'll bleed out of your band-aid. Are you worried though? Okay, well if you're worried, I can wrap it up a little extra for you. Yeah, no problem. Okay, so I have this here that I can wrap all the way around. So I'll do each one for you, all right? And then it'll look really, your friends will be like, what's wrong, what happened? And you can say something like, I don't know, uh, the minions attacked or something. <laughs> okay. So go ahead, hold out this arm for me. Second time.
right. How do you feel now? Much better. Yeah. Good. Okay. So I just want to check to make sure that everything is good. I'm going to touch this area and this area and all around and you tell me if it hurts, okay? Okay, so I'm going to touch right here. Okay, right here. Okay. And I'm going to squeeze your wrist and you tell me if that hurts. It's okay? Alright, now how about on this arm? So I'm going to squeeze the sides here. That's okay. And right here. Okay. Now I'm going to squeeze your wrist, alright? How does that feel? A little sore. Is this wrist the one that cut your fall? When you fell, did you use your sand? Yeah? Okay. But it, it's not that much. So we're going to keep an eye on it, but I think it should be fine. Yeah, alright. Okay. So I am going to need to let your teacher know. Um, you know what, let me take a look at your file really quick. You have an inhaler, yeah? Do you have that on you? You do? It's right there. Okay, good, good, good. <clears throat> so I am noticing that you're breathing a little shallow. Um, are you having issues breathing or are you just upset? Yeah, I noticed there was some tears and sometimes that can make us breathe. Is it okay if I listen to your lungs? Okay. Okay. Now I'm gonna use this. And I'm gonna listen to you breathe, okay? So I'm gonna put this right here. Alright. Now breathe in. Then hold it good and out. Great job. Okay, and one last time in and out. Very good. Okay, so maybe we're just a little upset. Yeah. Well, yeah, it was really scary, huh? You're bleeding so much on both, both arms. Yeah, that's okay. It's okay to be upset. Yeah. Okay, so if you'd like, you can stay here for just a little bit. In fact, I think it might be best because I just want to monitor you and make sure that everything's okay. I just want to make sure that um, we aren't having an asthma attack too. So if you want to just sit down and make yourself comfortable, maybe pull out some homework. Yeah? Okay. Um, so who was your teacher again? <gasps> Miss Jellybean? Oh, okay. All right. JB, hi. Yeah, so, um, yeah, mm -hmm, they're with me. Yeah, no need to worry. Sorry, I should have called you right away. 
So, um, yeah, they took a bit of a fall during recess and they scraped their elbows. And um, yeah, I'm a little worried that maybe um, they got themselves worked up and they might be having an asthma attack. So I just want to um, watch them and make sure everything's okay. Mm -hmm. I'll send them right back to class when they're ready. All right, thank you. Bye-bye. Okay. So your teacher says it's okay, and she's going to be ready for you when you're ready. Okay. Now, I need to write up um, all of this in your file. Would you help me pick a color, a pen? So this is my pen holder. Isn't it cute? It's got a little smile. It's a boba. It's a, it's a, I don't know what to call it other than it's a boba drink. <laughs> but as a pen holder. Have you ever had a boba drink? No? Well, it's really good. Yeah. If you try some, let me know. Okay. So what color pen should I pick? Which one is your favorite? You want this one back here? Okay. home to your parents just to let them know what went on today. Okay. Are they still a bit sore? I see you're touching them. You know what? I have an ice pack here that you can hold on to your your elbow. Mm -hmm. And this will help you feel a little bit better. There's that for you. Does that feel better? Good, good, good. Now go ahead and hold that. I'm going to finish reading your note here. to make another one for my records, but this one is going to be for your parents, okay? So go ahead and keep that, keep that right there. You promised to give that to your parents? Oh, thank you. Okay. Now I'm going to have you continue with your homework. Just relax, calm down, and I'm just going to do some work. Is that okay? All right, just let me know if you need me, okay?
Hi, this is Amy K, the nurse at Wagstaff. I was just calling because we did a dental screening and we found that Kai may have some cavities. They mentioned they were feeling some pain when they um, had cold drinks or cold foods in the molar, in one of the molar areas. Mm -hmm. Do you have a primary dentist for the family? Yeah, okay, good. Yeah, I do recommend setting up some sort of appointment. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, and if you have any further questions, I can get you in contact with the, um, the dental assistant that we had do the screenings. Okay. All right, thank you so much. Have a good day. Okay. Lisa's my favorite. Mm -hmm. I like that she's strong on the outside, but on the inside, she's a little softy. That's kind of like me. I'm not strong on the outside. What? <laughs> All right, maybe, maybe you're right. <laughs> oh, which one was your favorite song? Oh, that's so fun. Yeah, it's been stuck in my head all day. Sorry, you might be singing it while I do my work. Hi there, um, this is Nurse K at Wagstaff. Can you transfer me to the, uh, your school nurse's office? Yeah. Thank you. Jacob, hi, this is Nurse K. Yeah, so I just wanted to follow up on that conversation that we had. Um, about Miguel, um, I did fax uh, his medical records if you wanted to take a look at those. Did you receive them? You just received them. Okay, so you haven't had a chance to look them over. No, that's no problem. It's no problem. Um, honestly, it's if you don't have any questions, um, it's no matter. You don't need to call me about it, but, but if you do have questions, let me know. Um, we're sad to see Miguel go. He was a, he's such a good kid. You're, you're very lucky. Yeah. Mm hmm All right. Yep, of course. If you have any questions, let me know. All I really needed to know is if you got the facts. Okay. All right, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Day is it today? Really? Monday? Oh, that means that it is I'm losing track of my days. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Hi, 
It's Nurse K. Okay, so you mentioned that there was a field trip later this week. Right. Okay. Sorry, Matt. Um, I, I completely blanked. Um, so the emergency medications and the backpack of medical supplies that I put together for you, um, I have it ready for you. I forgot to let you know. But, um, as you're aware, Little Miss Madison has an allergy, so there will be an EpiPen packed in the emergency bag. I do need to go over with you how to use an EpiPen. I'm sure you know how, but I just always like to double check with teachers before we go on field trips. Yeah. Do you have time to stop by? When's the field trip? Friday? Okay. So if you want to stop by like Thursday or even early Friday, I'd love to just go over how to use the EpiPen. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Okay. Thanks, Matt. All right. Bye-bye. Are you going to be on the field trip? I know a couple classes are going. No, that's not your grade. I'm sorry, next year though. Yeah. We're going to see the Liberty Bell. You guys learning about that stuff in history? All about the presidents? Fun, 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 fun. trouble. <clears throat> well, what do we have here? Some math. Okay. I'm just going to move this up. Oh, okay. Well, Nurse K isn't amazing at math, but I think I might be able to help what we got here. Okay, so it says, Valerie has 10 pencils. Becky buys nine more than Valerie. How many pencils does Becky have? Okay, it's worded kind of tricky, huh? Okay, so how many pencils does Valerie have? Right, ten. And if Becky has nine more, more, is that plus or minus? Right, it's plus. So Becky has plus nine more pencils. So what is ten plus nine? Good! Nineteen. Good job! All right, does that make sense? How we did that? All right. If you need any more help, let me know. Okay, I might be able to figure it out. <laughs> Alright. Are you hungry? Okay, you just had lunch? Okay. Because I do have granola bars and juice boxes. Okay.
Hi, it's Nurse K. Yeah, so I just sent over an email, but I figured I should speak to you in person. So we did do the lice checks uh, the other day on your class, um, but we only were able to get through about half of the pods before the bell rang. So I do need to set up another day. Do you have another day this week that we can do to finish the pods? Oh, I have which ones that have been done and which ones haven't. I can list them off if you like. Okay, yeah, so um, the first three pods we did get done. So the pod one is Gonzo, Yoris, Izzy, and Casey. Pod two was Jordy, Luke, Anjay and Austin. Pod three was Eric, Michael, Ray, and Krisu. Okay, and then the three pods that we didn't get to was pod four, George, Daniel, Cole, and Sophia. Pod five, James, Sammy, Asya, and Raven. And lastly, pod six, Austin, Jonah, Mendy, and Nikki. Mm -hmm. So if you can send those three Thursday? Yeah, yeah, Thursday's fine. They're watching a movie. Oh, fun. <laughs> okay, yep. Just let me know. Um, yep, just let me know. Okay, perfect. Bye-bye. Mm, Perfect. Did you get your lice, um, your head checked for lice yet? Yeah, Nurse Claw, she also does the lice screenings. Your class hasn't gotten there yet? Mmm, okay. Wow. I can do it right now if you like. It's not scary. I'm just gonna look through your hair and see if there's any bugs. Yeah, you'd probably know, but we always check just to make sure. Is that something you're okay with? Yeah? Okay. Alright, I'm just gonna put some gloves on. Okay, I'm going to use these combs. through them, alright? I'm just gonna take a look. Okay, here we go. It's gonna get started here. Search through the hair. Brush your like it. So good, I'm not seeing any. But I want to look back here. Alright, there we go. Okay. And right back here. There we go. There we go. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, I'm just gonna look back here. Alright, so I'm not seeing any lights. I'm going to <clears throat> put it in my file here. You are lice free. Yay. <laughs> okay. No, thankfully we haven't had any lice outbreaks any at any point this year, but there's always one. It's just how it goes. Everybody has lice at least once. Yeah. And if you don't, then you're pretty lucky. Yeah, when I was younger, I did have lice. Mm-hmm. It was gross. Yeah. But it didn't last long, because they got them out. Okay. Okay. How are we feeling, sweetheart? Better? Mm-hmm. Your glasses. They're smudgy. Is it okay if I wipe them? I'm just gonna... Oh wow, yeah! Whew, really smudgy! I wear contacts, but when I'm at home, I wear glasses so I know all about smudgy glasses. Okay, I don't want to send you back to JB's class. Or sorry, Miss Jelly Bean. Um, with dirty glasses. Okay, hold still. Is it? Yeah, all better. Nice. Okay. So you're feeling better. Mm hmm. How are we breathing? <gasps> Good. Okay. So I'm going to send you back to class. All right. But if you feel sick or if you want to come back and have me um, maybe. Put a different band-aid on. Let me know. All right? I'll be here all day. Okay. All right, sweetheart. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs> Such a sweet kid. <clears throat> Hi, JB. <laughs> yeah, they're on their way back. Mm-hmm. Got some homework done, too. Yay! 
Yeah. All right. Thank you. Talk later. Bye-bye.